Hi all. It's been a bit of a long time between drinks, I know. I've been wanting to shoot this video for a couple of weeks now and it's kind of auspicious that I should choose today to be the day where I actually got to sit down and do it because uh, about six hours ago we saw the release of Darktable 4.4 and I'll be honest with you, I haven't looked at it. I never even got to see a version of 4.3 during the development cycle. And there's been a bunch of reasons which I want to go into in this video. Uh, you're probably wondering why I'm sitting in my living room instead of in my usual office space. Uh, where does one start? You know I got a new job up in Newcastle. And the job isn't the problem. The problem is the commute. I love the job. Um, the commute is killer. It's taking me probably three hours 40, three hours 45 every day uh, commuting. It's almost two hours each way. And, you know, that just makes for a hellishly long day. By the time you get home, you want to spend some time with your wife, sit down, watch a TV show while you're having dinner, get up, clean up. And by that stage, it's nine, ten o'clock at night. And you know, you've got to be up at six o'clock to do it all over again. So, you know, that really sucks up whatever time I've got during the week. And for the last three months, I'd reckon, uh, pretty much all of our weekends have been taken up with going and looking at open houses because we are looking at moving. We have put this place on the market. We've been here for 12 and a bit years and putting that on the market has meant having to declutter and man you don't realize how much crap you accumulate until you go to move then you suddenly realize so we have had this massive cleanup over the last couple of well oh, probably the last month i reckon and there's still heaps to do there's still heaps to get rid of and our first open home will be the day after tomorrow. So we've got more cleaning to do to make the house ready for prospective buyers to look at. And one of the casualties of that process has been a lot of my audio set up and my lighting set up in my study. So that's why I'm sitting here. Now, obviously that doesn't stop me from doing a video. I could do a video without the lights. I could do it without the headshot. I mean, let's face it, I don't have to have the headshot in my videos. Uh, but it's just a case of trying to find the time. Seriously, every weekend, if we're not out looking at houses, it's been a couple of different uh, family engagements that couldn't be skipped. So, uh, and that means extended family, not just me and Kath. Um, so yeah, so it's been just a really full on three months. Uh, on top of all of that, I decided after seven years to jump from Linux Mint to Manjaro. And that has brought with it a whole raft of challenges. And because of that, I am just running on the stable version of 4.2 that was available through the Manjaro app store i don't know what they call it i'm sure it has a name so i need to reach out to coding dave and ask if he would be generous enough to help me again get set up with building from source now that i'm on manjaro so yeah 4.4 got released today i had a brief look at the release notes i didn't even get to finish reading it because i've got so much other stuff to do and I just thought I will come back to this when I've got the time. And that's really just been the, the nature of the beast over the last three months. That's why I haven't had a chance to put out any new content. And, you know, <laughs> what do I do? You know, there's just only so much you can fit into a week. So in terms of places to buy, uh, we did find one place that I thought we were going to buy. Kath was keen on it to start with, and I absolutely loved it, and I'll tell you why in a sec. Uh, but we went back for a second look last weekend, and Kath's gone a bit cold on it. There's a few things that are not perfect about it. Um, to describe the property, it's a half-acre block, so 
2,100 square meters. So it's a big block. It has three dwellings on it, a four bedroom house, which is what you know, we've got here, four, four bedroom house, um, which is overkill for two of us, but that's okay. It has a two bedroom granny flat, so a separate building, uh, which is leased to a long-term stable tenant who wishes to stay. So we would have been absolutely fine with that. But the third dwelling, a four room recording studio. Oh yes, I kid you not. And I'm not talking, you know, let's take a couple of bedrooms and call it a recording studio studio. This was the real deal. Designed from the ground up, no parallel walls, wave shaped ceiling so you don't get standing acoustic waves vertically, patch panels on all the walls so you can patch signal to and from wherever you need it to go, dedicated control room, dedicated drum room, isolation booth, voice booth, and then a storage room that can be used as a second isolation booth. You could easily record a whole band in there. I was like, oh man, I would love this. But like I said, few things about the property that just don't quite work for us. So it looks like that's going to go begging, which there's a little part of me is going to regret for the rest of my life. Um, but anyway, is what it is. So the hunt goes on. We're still looking for a place. And then, of course, you know, to add to all of this tension of trying to sell a house and buy a house, we've got this impending trip to Alaska in September, which is only 10 weeks away. And, you know, we have to decide, OK, if we sell this house, do we settle before we go to Alaska, which means we've got to move everything out of here and probably put it into storage if we haven't found somewhere to buy. And then are we arriving home from Alaska without a place to live? You know, there's just so many things going on all at once. And no, we can't postpone Alaska. We've already had to pay deposits and, you know, more than deposits on some things already. So we are financially committed to the Alaska trip. There's no getting out of that now. So yeah, it has just been really full on over the last three months. And that's why I've not got to make any new content. So please don't think I've gone cold on Darktable. That is absolutely not the case. Still committed to it. Still want to create content. Just need to, you know, <laughs> get us to a place where we're a little bit further north. Yeah, because the whole idea is Kath loves her job. So we're trying to make it so that her commute doesn't get any longer because she travels about half an hour from here, traveling north. The place where we're looking at, she'll still travel for half an hour, but she'll travel south. But my commute will cut down to probably an hour each way, which will be far more achievable long term. So that's where we're at. So, you know, hang in there. There will be more content coming and I will endeavor to get out some, you know, new features 4.4 videos as soon as I can. Just can't say when that will be. And to my patrons, I would like to say thank you, those of you who have hung around. I know I've lost a few and that's absolutely understandable. You know, if you're supporting financially a content creator who's not releasing content, you are totally justified in withdrawing that support. I get that. I, you know, don't begrudge anyone that at all. Uh, but for those of you who have hung around, I do appreciate the continued support. Um, and I will endeavor to get some sort of content out for you guys soon. Uh, just, it's just finding the time. It really is. So that's the state of play guys. Um, I wish I could say I will definitely have new content out by this date, but at this point I can't. Um, just know that I will as soon as I can. All right, wherever you are, look after yourselves, and I will talk to you as soon as I can. Cheers.